Today at the site of the Coachella Music Festival, because just like Trump, Coachella brings out the worst in white people. <laughs> and maybe it was the 100 call before an all-female audience. Well, good luck trying to talk over all those rape whistles. <laughs> And turn them against their real mom. A new report shows that inflation has dropped to its lowest level in almost four years. Man, I just wish Joe Biden was still around to see this. <laughs> oh, he is? <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know. Both the Mets and Yankees have advanced to the league championship round, setting up a potential Subway series. Oh, that. God. That would be so awesome. It would be the only thing anyone in New York City, South Burlington, Vermont, is the safest city in the country, while the least safe city is Diddy Freak Off, Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> so well, tickets for the North American... <laughs> LeBron James and his son, Bronny, made history when they became the first ever father-son duo to play an NBA game together. But there was some confusion the city would care about, right, said Mayor Adams? According to internal documents from TikTok, the app's algorithm demoted people it deemed not attractive enough. You know, like Colin does with interns. Nursing home. In an interview with the New York Times, J.D. Vance was repeatedly asked if Donald Trump lost the 2020 election was trying to eat Snoopy. This week, Amazon celebrated its 48-hour sale event, Prime Day, with a record number of orders. Here at Comment is Monica, a happy Amazon employee. Because Kamala doesn't have children, she doesn't have anything keeping her humble. Yeah, because Trump, having five kids, has kept him so humble. <laughs> Harris responded by saying that it's tough to be a stepmom, which is true, because you have to be a very different from a straight fly's brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I can't. It's the 90s, Colin. No, what? <laughs> the Nobel Peace Prize was... <laughs> The Supreme Court declined to hear R. Kelly's appeal of the decision in his sex crimes case, or as I like to call it, it's the remix to conviction. <laughs> it's finally enough money for her to stop texting me. A new poll shows that 47% of voters see Kamala Harris representing... <laughs> Experts have noted that Donald Trump has struggled to present a softened stance on abortion. In fact, this is the best he's come up with. <laughs> to 78%. Oh, don't make this our fault. 78% is still a lot. For context, 78% black people is enough to make white liberals leave the county. <laughs> Be grateful. The only other people to get 78% of the black vote... Doing? Good morning. Monica, it's midnight, and you seem to have a lot of energy. I got to. These packages ain't going to deliver them. On Roosevelt Avenue, which begs the question, what's the cross streets? <laughs> a YouTube star totaled his $200,000 McLaren after he live-streamed him. <laughs> it was also reported that during the first three months of her campaign, Kamala Harris raised over $1 billion, which I hope... Which I hope is your degree heat, but it also brought out the weirdest in Trump. L.A. and San Francisco, what the hell is happening to our cities? Look, it's Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, stand up. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> Donald Trump held a rally today. Change better than Donald Trump. How about now, said Trump with bangs. <laughs> Next week, Donald Trump will participate in a Fox News town hall. <laughs> Donald Trump confirmed that he would not agree to a second debate with Kamala Harris, which is fine with me. If I wanted to watch an old man yell at a Jamaican lady, I'd visit my grandpa at the... <laughs> <laughs> what? He just told Abraham Lincoln... Given your recent history at rallies, do you really want both you and Abraham Lincoln to stand up? <laughs> <laughs> bridge so he could answer in the form of a riddle. 
You can't answer questions with questions. If a cop asks, have you been drinking? You can't ask him, have you been drinking? Was the North and Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Also, if it wasn't for black voters, y'all wouldn't even be a party anymore. You'd be the Democratic small get-together. <laughs> Officer? <laughs> a new poll shows that since 2016, support by black voters for Democratic candidates has dropped from 92%. When LeBron called a timeout and his son went and stood in the corner. <laughs> Officials are urging New York's governor to send 100 state troopers to Queens to shut down the numerous brothels. And let's see how he handled it. I'm going to ask you again, did Donald Trump lose the 2020 election? And I've answered your question with another question. <laughs> then Vance offered to move the interview under a... R. Kelly is going to a prison. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's the 90s, cop. <laughs> According to a new study, was awarded to a group of Japanese atomic bomb survivors who are trying to free the world of nuclear weapons. The survivors called the award the second biggest surprise of their lives. <laughs> Don't whistle. <laughs> Fans of the Peanuts comic strip were upset after a fan account endorsed Donald Trump. Even worse, they claim that Franklin... Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I like the comment. We're really I... finding the line. <laughs> Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders criticized Kamala Harris and said that because of texting while driving in the rain, even more tragic, he survived. <laughs> Scientists have released a detailed map of a fruit fly's brain, and it's actually... <laughs> the CIA is marking its 75th anniversary by launching a podcast, and because it's the CIA, they're launching it directly into an Afghani wedding. <laughs> <It's Yeah. laughs> the U.S. Surgeon General is warning that children are joining social media at too young an age, and they should wait until they're at least 16, when they're hotter. <laughs> Pope Francis criticized laws banning homosexuality as unjust, saying that it's not a crime, even though Catholic doctrine views homosexuality as a sin. He also stressed that Catholic doctrine views age as nothing but a number. <laughs> A new study finds that during the pandemic, students' math scores dropped by almost 10%. Wow, so more than half. <laughs> new York City is now requiring employers to disclose salary ranges in all job listings. Employers must list everything ranging from the top salary all the way down to the female salary. <laughs> Some parents uh, in Oregon are having large groups of their children ride their bikes to school at the same time in a formation they're calling a bike bus. And pedophiles are calling a buffet. <laughs> Police in Queens were searching for a suspect who hijacked the bus and then immediately crashed it into a utility pole. Okay, so we know it's a woman. <laughs> Tomorrow is the New York City Marathon, or as Fox News will report it, undocumented Africans run wild in streets of New York. China has launched the third, <laughs> China has launched the third and final module for its permanent space station. Now all they have to do is launch some children to assemble it. An Arizona woman was arrested after she allegedly went day drinking while her five-month-old child was sitting home alone, like a loser. <laughs> Texas police arrested a woman who broke into a man's house, stripped naked, and slept in one of his beds. The man called the police when he realized the woman was not attractive. <laughs> Researchers say the number of gray whales off Western North America has continued to decline for several years. It's a sad fact that makes me wonder if whale oil is really the best way to give my hair this amazing volume. 
British officials have unveiled King Charles III's new royal monogram. The C stands for Charles, the R is for Rex, and the three is for how many hundreds of yards Prince Andrew has to stay away from schools. <laughs> The Postal Service announced a new stamp honoring the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's also a stamp honoring Clarence Thomas that says, flip me over and start licking. A video was posted of a recent Smash Mouth concert in which, I know, recent, uh, a recent Smash Mouth concert in which the lead singer, singer is seen slurring his words doing a Nazi salute and threatening to kill an audience member. And it gets worse, he then started singing. <laughs> Police in England are now using specially trained dogs to detect semen at crime scenes. This replaces the old method of detecting semen, slipping on it. <laughs> Elon Musk took over Twitter. Use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. <laughs> a woman in Slovakia helped arrest a man robbing a gas station by performing oral sex on him until police arrived. The woman was able to stall him for that long by being terrible at it. <laughs> Tensions are on the rise after North Korea launched more than 20 missiles into the ocean, and all because the Little Mermaid is black. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> this week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> The White House has introduced a new plan to put nutrition labels on the front instead of the back. So to give you an idea of the overall health of Americans, we're too lazy to do this. It's a lot. It's a lot. After trying for several years, the New York City Commission voted to remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. They were finally able to remove it by telling the statue there was a hot black lady outside. <laughs> well, <then. laughs> Residents in Rome are upset after a wild boar and her six piglets were killed on a playground near the Vatican. But it's like they say, nothing good ever happens on a playground near the Vatican. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this week, there was a full moon known as the beaver moon, which can be seen about a month after a waxing moon. That's a good joke. That's a good Starbucks has launched a new eco-friendly program called Borrow a Cup in which customers return their cup after finishing their drink so the store can use it again. And Dunkin' Donuts plans to compete with this promotion by not doing that. The house, the house where Lizzie Borden murdered her parents has been sold for $2 million and will be turned into a bed and breakfast. Though a bed and breakfast where a murder happened is pretty much just a day's in. Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> a group of researchers are trying to determine why humans have a desire to feed other animals, such as birds and squirrels. But if I had to guess, it's probably because their wife passed away. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. During a White House ceremony, President Biden wished Kamala Harris a happy birthday, then accidentally called her a great president. <laughs> Even worse, he was talking to a portrait of Michelle Obama. Orthodox Jewish leaders in New York City lashed out at a newly imposed coronavirus restriction in their neighborhoods by setting fires and burning masks. And it's a miracle because the masks burned for eight nights. <laughs> That's a good one. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Firefighters in Florida rescued a horse that fell into a septic tank 
and was nearly submerged in raw sewage. A horse submerged in raw sewage is also known as an Arby's beef and cheddar. Arby's, we eat the horse. In the wake of the R. Kelly verdict, there is a growing movement online to force music streaming services to remove his music. I mean, after all, streaming is basically what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> The statue of George Floyd on display in a New York City park was defaced for the second time. Police are searching for the suspect and are planning to serve him with a job application. <laughs> a woman in Taiwan who thought her boyfriend was cheating cut off his penis and flushed it down the toilet. I'm sorry, thought he was cheating? <laughs> South Carolina lawmakers voted to add firing squad to its execution methods. And I think it's nice that people will finally get the chance to be shot after they're found guilty. <laughs> a woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14 pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> it's a mad joke. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh. A new study shows that the COVID vaccine does not cause infertility in men or women. Damn it, why did I get this? <laughs> a professional golfer in Florida was arrested after he tried to meet a 15-year-old girl he met online who turned out to be a detective, said the golfer Mulligan. <laughs> Come on, man. Sadly, there's more. <laughs> For those of you wondering, in golf terms, a 15-year-old is three under par. UFO enthusiasts have declared that Hillary Clinton is the first ET candidate after she pledged to release government files on UFOs and Area 51. Unfortunately, the aliens keep all their files on a private email server. <laughs> a, man proposed, a man proposed to his longtime girlfriend while she was in the middle of the New York City Marathon. Because what woman can resist a man who doesn't wait for her to finish? Oh. <laughs> a 20-year-old woman in Bangladesh with two uteruses gave birth to twins 26 days after giving birth to her first child. This according to her vagina's suicide note. <laughs> the world's heaviest woman died this week. The world's heaviest woman was best known for her catchphrase, Stop calling me that. <laughs> Greece has elected its first ever female president, and of course, the country is already falling apart. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. This week, the FDA granted the first condom approved for anal sex. It took them this long because their wives would only let them test it on their birthdays. <laughs> The makers of Barbie have introduced the first ever Barbie with hearing aids. It teaches an important lesson. It doesn't matter if you're deaf, as long as that body banging. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> this, this'll get you back. A woman in Texas allegedly dumped three buckets of human waste in front of a police department and drove away. It's a rare case of erratic behavior from a lady who poops in a bucket. Scientists have trained a goldfish to drive a car. They believe it's the first step to eventually training women. <laughs> At this year's elections, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors. <laughs> while, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. <laughs> A California company has created a new marijuana-based vaginal suppository to help women suffering from menstrual pain. And ladies, if you're lucky, it might give your boyfriend the munchies. A woman at a bachelorette party in Scotland was attacked while wearing an inflatable penis costume. The woman says she's still throbbing and her head feels like it's ready to explode. <laughs> the world 
A painting by Pablo Picasso portraying his lover as a sea creature was sold at auction for $67 million. It's a beautiful abstract expression of his love and admiration that he named Titty Squid. <laughs> An American woman set a new record by visiting every country in the world in 19 months. And after all that travel, she found the one thing that had been inside her all along, Zika. <laughs> Saudi Arabia announced on Tuesday that it would begin allowing women to drive. Wow, that's only a few short years after cars were allowed to drive themselves. <laughs> a new survey finds that half of Americans think that in the future, having sex with a robot will be normal, while the other half are women. <laughs> A new study of female bottlenose dolphins suggests that their clitoris can experience pleasure during sexual stimulation, but sadly, their fins can't reach. <laughs> it was an owl. Do you get it? Yeah, they Các bạn đánh... À, tôi mới nói là đánh anh để gớt xuống. Chưa chết, chẳng chưa chết luôn Chẳng chưa chết luôn Chẳng chưa chết hả? Ác quỷ rồi Chị ác quỷ nè Chẳng chưa chết Dài như đĩa Còn nhiêu nữa, còn ba người nữa hả? Ok Hộp Sao nó bình thường quá nè Nha Từ 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 Bình tĩnh, bình tĩnh Bình tĩnh nó tao giết mày Ủa gì kì vậy? Em chơi được cái đó chẳng được Ủa em chửi chị hả? Em nói vậy? Mình còn hai người nữa Cái chuyện gì? Các bạn thấy nó kè đầu không? Quánh cho nó, cho nó kè đầu luôn á Hồi nãy giờ mới để ý Cái gương mặt dữ tợn nha Mày á mày Mày dữ cỡ nào Ý nó không té nữa luôn Mình đánh nó không té luôn Mày thử mày té không? Mày té không? Chết rồi, chết rồi, chết Ủa? Chưa Chưa luôn <cười>